Hola amigos, welcome back to the Iberian Adventures vlog. I'm Javier Ortiz, traveling filmmaker and drone cinematographer. Margo and I have just spent an entire month road tripping around the coast of Spain and Portugal, visiting Barcelona, the Basque Country, North Spain, Portugal, South Spain, Andalusia, and now we're wrapping up the entire journey in the region of Valencia. In this episode, we'll be exploring La Laguna Rosa, La Muralla Roja, as well as the City of Arts and Sciences in Valencia, I get into a bit of trouble with the van and my drone, but we'll get to that very soon. For now, let's head into Valencia for some more cinematic drone adventures. Vámonos! Hola amigos, Javier y Margo here, back in action. Uh, just a quick update. Since the Iberian Adventures vlog has gone about, I've returned to the US for three months and now I'm back. I've moved out of the US and Michael and I have been hitting the road, going on adventures, creating all throughout, uh, I guess, Costa Blanca. We've been staying at for two months around Calpe. And yeah, just wanted to recap you because in this episode, we'll be exploring the Valencia region, going through Laguna Rosa, Calpe, Costa Blanca, and Valencia, visiting the City of Arts and Sciences where I actually crashed my drone and completely destroy it. It's actually... But you did it before, don't say like you're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much back in time, <laughs> uh, I had dropped off Margo and went to go film around and got a little too excited and destroyed my drone. And I thought I had the footage saved, but no, it, it's pretty much gone. So now that we're back in Spain, we're going back to recollect some of the footage that I lost in that fatal drone crash, and also filming a couple other spots that we wish we would have stopped at. So right now we're driving to Laguna Rosa in Alicante, which pretty much starts the Valencia region at the bottom, and then we'll be moving up towards what I mentioned, Calpe, Costa Blanca, Valencia. Um, so stay tuned for all that, and I'll be tying in the two stories together from the past and the present. You'll be able to tell because I kind of grew my hair out a little bit. We're both looking a little bit more sophisticated instead of living on the road for three weeks like a bunch of vagabond gypsies. Yeah, and just right now we're so surrounded by amazing views of mountains. This region of Costa Blanca, I think it's the best of Spain. So I'm the most uh, cinematically beautiful and I don't know, when you just travel around Spain and you enter, uh, when you travel by car and you enter the region of Costa Blanca, it kind of changes the feeling. Uh, I don't know if it's cleaner or what, but just the sensation of those very epic mountains all around wherever you go, they change how they are, like the architecture of that. And generally the climate is very nice, it's like much warmer here than in other parts of Spain. surrounded by mountains and we've been exploring them non-stop and I can't wait to show you a bit more even in the following vlog for Costa Blanca but yeah it's pretty much one of our favorite areas in all of Spain surrounded by mountains close to the sea as well it's all 30 minutes around in and out but yeah enough of all that let's check it all out together South, the region of Valencia starts with the city of Alicante, a fresh and sunny town by the sea that reminded us of Granada and Barcelona a bit, with a lot less people and even more foliage and greenery around. So if you're exploring through the Valencia region, definitely check out Alicante for a quick stop. quick stop was actually a little bit longer than we wanted. We ended up getting to La Laguna Rosa just as the sun was setting. I wanted to be there a little bit earlier, but we ended up getting some pretty magical footage regardless. Check it all out. La Laguna Rosa is a pink salt lake just 30 minutes from Alicante. Usually in the day you can see it vibrant pink from the sun, but now in the twilight after sunset, it's more of a pastel reflection of dreams.
You should try too. <laughs> you wanna do that? Let me feel you. Let me feel you. Put it on me? You put it on you. Cleansing your... Okay. Your cleansing. consciousness. Okay. On my forehead? Yeah, on your forehead. With an intention to clean your... Any space where you feel tension, you can put it to cleanse with rosy salt water. It's so feminine, rosy salt water, it's just amazing. Maybe on the neck behind to release the tension and cleanse the information. It feels like really soft to touch. Yeah. Whereas like normal salt water from the sea is like, yeah. feels dry and rough. Go swim. I feel you would make a funny dolphin noise. <laughs> Hola amigos, I'm in Valencia, Spain right now. I just dropped off Margo at the train station. She's heading back to Barcelona to prepare for a couple of gigs coming up. I'm finishing my last few days with the camper van road trip around Spain. Um, right now, I'm gonna go to a cafe and catch up on a little work on my laptop. I'm excited to check out the famous film shop, God Mesita Film Lab, as well as the infamous City of Arts and Sciences, which I'm kind of standing in front of right now. Here's a little teaser. Check it out. Dun, dun, dun. There's also still a couple other spots I want to hit before ending the road trip. One being La Muralla Roja in Calpe. It's this crazy, beautiful, geometric building on the coast. Um, just a spectacular looking place that I want to film and explore. It's kind of like a labyrinth as a building, but colorful and aesthetic AF. Heading back down from Valencia just a bit into Costa Blanca, we'll find the city of Calpe. This mystic place is surrounded by mountains, rests on the coast, taking in warm sun all year round. Home to the iconic Ifach Rock, this bad boy is prominent. Let's check it out. Hola amigos, right now I'm in Calpe filming some drone and FPV footage. Check it all out. I've just arrived in Calpe, España, where La Muralla Roja is located. This crazy geometric architectural beauty just on the coast of Spain, overlooking the ocean with 
this pretty awesome rock formation back there just hanging out pretty nice view and yeah I think it was one of the last few things on my bucket list for this trip so I think I'm gonna wrap it up soon <laughs> um, I think the last thing to check off is the city of arts and sciences back in Valencia I kind of just want to drive back to Valencia now and sleep over there just so I can hit City of Arts and Sciences um, for sunrise and just drive back to Barcelona because I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Not so much over the van but I need to wash my clothes, I need to get some work done on my computer and I kind of just miss the comforts of being at home and yeah kind of miss Margo too. It's been such a joy having her as a partner through this whole trip. Especially in, in the van, just dancing around, talking deeply so often, sharing meals together. And yeah, not for that. She's great. What am I doing? Just enjoying it. Well, let's send the drone up and see what we can capture at La Muralla Roja in Calpe, España. Just 10 minutes from Calpe's Ifach Rock are these incredible architectural hidden gems. El Edificio Zanadu y Muralla Roja are both buildings constructed in the early 1970s by talented architect Ricardo Bofil. The architecture reminds me of a labyrinth as a building emanating from the ground, extremely playful with its pastel colors and a huge inspiration for many creative projects. So I was super excited to fly around this place and check it out from above.
Buenos dias amigos. I'm here at the City of Arts and Sciences in Valencia, España. I drove over here from Calpe last night so I could drone the property for sunrise. I parked nearby so I could pilot from my car but it seemed like my signal was getting jammed so I figured to get closer anyway. And yeah, when I went to go start the van the battery was dead so I was like, oh great. Perfect timing too because today is kind of the day I'm decided to end the trip. I got a ticket back to Barcelona from Tarragona where I'll be dropping off the van. So yeah, always coincidental that the morning of I can't even move. So that just adds another mission to the day. Gotta get the van jump started but first I wanted to get this footage done of City of Arts and Sciences so I could get it off my mind and focus on the van and getting home. So. I'll update you on how the van goes and my mission to get back to Barcelona. For now, check out this beautiful city of arts and sciences. literal last shot I had planned for most of the trip I lost my drone I was finishing the last shot around City of Arts and Sciences and pretty much crashed into a building that came out of nowhere all the way in the background but you know of course it's my fault for not paying a thousand and one percent to what's going on so I ran over to where the map said, I lost signal, and here it is. I found the dead corpse of my drone. Check it out. Damn, this thing is dead. Oh my god. This thing is dead. Absolute everything is obliterated. No propeller, one propeller. Everything is fucking gone. Oh my god, this is hard to see. My baby. Not a single crash in this entire trip. But of course, it's the very last shot. But we have what we need, baby. Here it is. The memory card. We're in. Ah, oh, man. This thing got obliterated. Luckily, nobody got hurt, as far as I know. Um. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking dead. It's horrible. What a horrible father I am. God. That's the building, right there. Man, well, at least I got all the footage I need and I got my memory card. So, so it is what it is, guys. What a, <laughs> what a way to end the trip. Um, yeah, there might be some more footage to come from my Osmo hand cam, but that's it for drone footage. That's a wrap. That's a repa. Oh, it's so sad. Uh, now I have to get another drone in less than three weeks because I have a drone cinematographer gig for a couple music festivals in Seattle. So, I mean, I still have to get my ticket back home. Um, so, yeah. About to clock in a couple more busy weeks, I'm hustling, 
getting things done and I think I'm gonna bury this bad boy. It's been good to me. Lasted exactly a year since my last fatal drone crash in Costa Rica. Oh man. Anyways, here's the drone footage from City of Arts and Sciences. Hope you enjoy it. Turns out the memory card was just as dead as the drone, but no worries. I did come back to film some extra drone footage a few months later, but for now, let's wrap up this part of the timeline. All right, we've got the van started. Had some help from some locals that dropped by to help me jumpstart the, the van. So I should have enough time to make it up to Tarragona to drop off the van with mad campers and catch my train up to Barcelona today. Everything's all good, guys. Minus one drone, RIP. But let's get this show on the road and get back home. I don't really know what happened with the van. I think just after the month of non-stop exploring around Spain and Portugal, the battery just died out and lost all of its juice. Luckily, Mad Campers was able to set up a tow for me and bring me back to Tarragona where they rented me a car and I drove back to Barcelona to end the trip back home with Margo. The drone crashes, the van falls apart. Fuck. <laughs> Just this week, Margo and I went back to Valencia to explore the City of Arts and Sciences together and refilm the drone footage I lost. So enjoy this extra footage from the City of Arts and Sciences as well as the awesome drone perspective. Space. Direct your attention to the center of your body.
Hola amigos, we're back in Valencia, the city of arts and sciences right here behind us. You've just seen the fatal drone crash and also the, the van fell apart <laughs> pretty much. But right now it's been five months since that, um, since that. Since that happened, yeah, I was going to go to America, but the visa takes like one year. So Javier decided suddenly to come to Costa Blanca where I was uh, since uh, August and uh, yes at the end he decided to revisit the place where the drone crashed so I yeah, didn't crash at this time yeah thankfully <laughs> I pretty much I wanted to come back and get this footage because it's such an amazing place and I wanted yeah, to share it and complete cosmic. the vlog all with you guys quite a and cosmic place yeah it looks cosmic it looks yeah, like a spaceship it. Seems like a space station from another Maybe planet. Maybe it is. It might fly one day. I, I never see what you, even these people are a little strange. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys. It wasn't quite so sudden. I actually spent three months in America before I came back, and now yeah, but now your cat is there. And you're sad. So this morning he was looking. I'm like, what are you doing? He's looking at his cat. And my, my sister's taking care of my cat, and she sends me cat videos and <laughs> holds my heart. But so. <laughs> That pretty much wraps up our whole road trip around Spain and Portugal. Now we've just spent two months in Costa Blanca, so we're going to be releasing another vlog from Costa Blanca there. And we've just finished that, so we're going to Barcelona now to spend Christmas and the New Year's and all that. So we're wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's and Happy Holidays. Um, I guess maybe there'll be a Barcelona Holidays vlog. We'll see how it goes, but we're going to mostly enjoy ourselves anyway. And then after that, we're getting out of Europe. We can't go to the US, so we are going somewhere far away. Very special, we'll let you know where it's at. Uh, but expect some brand new crazy adventures on the road with Margo and Javier. Margo and Javier. What is that? Our, it's our couple's name. He'll cut it out, right? No. Oh. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching the vlog and all and joining us. And, and for listening to Continent Argo. <laughs> I was about to say, it's a pretty awesome aspect. The vlog wouldn't be the same without it. Neither would the world without Suskin and Canto del Dragon. I hope soon you'll see some concerts. We're working on it. <laughs> but yeah, take care, amigos. Ciao. That's it for our big road trip around Spain and Portugal, but not the end of the Iberian Adventures vlog. As I've moved out of the US back into Spain with Margo, we have continued to explore Costa Blanca for a couple months and even Barcelona for the holidays and New Year. So stay tuned for more episodes coming very soon as we explore more of Spain's natural wonders and architectural masterpieces. Thanks again for watching so far. Ciao for now, amigos. Yeah.